So let's get into the Capricorn, right? This is where the fire goes out. And in astrology, this is also where the sun goes out or goes down completely. All right. So we're talking about winter solstice here. When you get the longer days and I mean, excuse me, longer nights and shorter days because the light goes out, the fire goes out. Right. So Capricorn is the scapegoat. Capricorn is the scapegoat. Let me explain further. Right. See, in traditional text. The Capricorn is not just any type of goat, it's actually a sea goat. So you can see certain depictions and symbology still to this day um, that depicts that as well. So what that means is Capricorn comes from out of the sea up to the land, then up the mountain. The climb begins in the depths of the sea. So you can see in the wording the association that it has with Pisces. So you can also see like during the Piscean age, right? The story of Jesus was, uh, of course, popularized because it represented the fish and sacrifice came with that story because Jesus sacrificed himself for the betterment of humanity or humankind or however you choose to phrase it. You know what I'm getting at, though, right? So um, even when you see the notions that take place in the in the temples and stuff like that. The gestures and the rituals that take place when they, you know, partake in eating the bread, the cracker, and then drinking the wine is a representation of devouring the body or sacrificing the body. And I know it sounds kind of, yeah, but it is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? But also in astrological texts, you can hear about Pisces being a symbol of the martyr, right? So you got the martyr, the scapegoat, right? So those things are attached. They're, they're, they're attached to each other. And but to put the focus more on Capricorn, the seagull, the escapism that's also associated with Pisces ties into the word scapegoat. Right. Because you're escaping something. So like when people be like, oh, why would you do that? Or, you know, they get questioned about it. Oh, the devil made me do it. The devil made you do it type shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's always when something uh I guess you could say erroneous or detrimental happens to someone, then they word it as it was a devilish act or, you know, the devil had their hands on the situation or, you know, however, always give praise to God. And so you can see where this uh, dynamic of the devil versus God comes into play. And I mean, it's a great storyline if you want to be technical, you know what I'm saying? But is deeper than that. So like even if you look at the the original sigils of Lucifer, which is not the same as Baphomet, but if when you look at these two symbols, um traditionally you'll see that they do not mean demonic things. This is something that was like the swastika and, and lightning bolts, those symbols taken and converted into what people wanted to make them into to like if you ask me to instill fear in other people um it talks about that stuff in the bible too but i'm not going to get too deep into that but the point here is that um sacrifice became epitomized during the piscean age and there's more to it like the devil thing like the devil symbology of the you know the red devil with the horns and the tail i'm gonna get to that in another time i probably will make a short to depict that as quick as possible but with much clarity so you can understand just think of the movie Fallen but I'll get to that in another time you know what I mean I just want to make the point of Capricorn being the scapegoat and also the patsy or what the fall guy right the fallen angel so when something happens and you got your Lee Harvey Oswalds and those types of stories that come about you know the folklore or what have you about these types of individuals is always like a fall guy, a fall guy. So, of course, the equinox, the fall equinox starts there in Libra, but it completely drops off of the face of uh, being visible in Capricorn, all right, at the winter solstice. So that's the fall, the fall guy, the fallen angel, you know what I'm saying? Um, the same as the devil fell from the graces of heaven and God to the to the earth now again northern arc of the zodiac is cancer gemini leo capricorn is at the very mid point of the
the southern hemisphere of the zodiac wheel, right? And this is why I was speaking about things being inverted as well, because Capricorn 10th house is represented as the midhaven in the career inside of astrology. So you'd be like, okay, well, how is it the southern realm if it represents the top in astrology? This is what I'm saying. So I can get deep into how there's a description of how, you know, the back of the eyeballs or the retinas, they actually see upside down. But there's something that happens. It's like a process that happens that turns it upside down. I don't want to get too deep into that either because I don't feel like I feel like it might distort this video. But another time, you know what I'm saying? But it has a lot to do with why things are seen invertedly. So um, let's get to this Capricorn thing. Right. So a Capricorn, when you think about Capricorn, you think about the operations of the business, not the exact business. We'll get into the exact institution is when we merge into Pisces through Aquarius. But we'll get to that as well. But let's start with corporation, the word corporation derives from the word corpse, right? And if you are familiar with Jordan Maxwell, R.I.P. the Great, Jordan Maxwell did a lot of research and explaining of maritime law, what corporations are, where the terminology derived from. So some of that is coming, some of this is coming from that, excuse me. And um, with corporation meaning corpse, now let's look at corporations, right? What do they do? They take they make something up, right? They create something. They initiate something from the bottom and they bring it on up to the top. Some things are done top down as well as a pyramid would suggest. But th again, that's something for another time as well. But this corporation is built because why? I think it's more important to explain why. So when you again look at the northern hemisphere of the zodiac wheel, and you see Cancer, Gemini, and Leo. Let's focus more on Cancer. Reason being because it's the exact opposite of Capricorn, right? So with that being said, Cancer is the family archetype. So when you look at the people who are in most power, they come from powerful families, right or wrong? They do. They come from powerful families. That means that they have accumulated wealth over a period of time to the point where they have passed down that wealth through legacy, also ruled by fourth house and cancer. All right. Get where I'm going with this. Now, again, this is known. This arc is known as as close to heaven as you can get. I'm not saying heaven, but I'm saying as close to heaven as you can get. It's like looking at the Sith verse, the um, what's the name of that word? The Sith versus the Force, right? And it's like, you see the guys dressed in white. You see Luke Skywalker, right? Skywalker, you say, okay, well, that's the interpretation of the good guys, right? And then you have the bad guys, which is the, the Sith, right? Well, that's how it's interpreted anyway. This is also a reflection of astrology, how those one those signs, one through six, are interpreted as the northern or the upper arc, the upper echelon of life, if you will, when you look at the symbology of numerous accounts and stories right so just use some empathy for once I'm not saying that you're incapable of doing so but i know there can be backlash or people feeling uncomfortable with even hearing that there can be some type of good to the sign of capricorn and the baphomet and all that but you know i'll extend that for further conversation later on down the line as well but when you look at a corporation and it's the opposite of cancer is because it's the rich families who've been running things for generation after generation because they know the game. They're on the offense most of the time. Not all signs are masculine, but they're on the offense most of the time because the sun is at the pinnacle during those signs, during the transits of those signs. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, OK, we're living in an earth that worships the sun for a long time I don't know if it was like that from the beginning But I can tell you this For a long time It's been sun worship right? So you have this entity building down At Capricorn that says And again I say well why Well why Well right Well some entrepreneurs And we can name countless individuals Who have started businesses from the ground up Despite where they got their finances And stuff like that Some people didn't have it You know what I mean They started in garages They started in basements they started in all types of different places without the 
resources to just begin it on their own. You understand what I'm saying? And that is the exact reflection of Capricorn energy in the corporation. It's like when you're lost out to sea, as Jordan explained it, when you're lost out to sea in maritime law, that means that you're trying to make it to land and build something and make something for yourself. And this is where the corporation comes into place because you're basically saying that you're a dead entity. You're dead already. And the reason why it's interpreted that way is because the sun is not there. The sun has died when it enters the winter solstice in Capricorn. You get what I'm saying? So now they're obtaining resources. The corporation is obtaining resources, wealth, generating wealth, generating revenue, giving people jobs. And of course, it comes with toil or labor, which it would say, you know, we got to sweat from the eyebrows. How are you going to be able to eat on this earth? And people look at that as something demonic and bad. But it's because you come from nothing. You're birthed into this world, right? Through cancer, through the through the canal, right? You're birthed with your certificate and all of that. But if you don't have the legacy passed down to you, what are you going to do? Like I said in the Scorpio bottom line video, you're at the mercy of people who are already running things. So what are you going to do, right? You might join that corporation. It's just like anybody who says, you know what? I'm an able-bodied individual. I don't want to starve to death. They're hiring this down the place over there, that, 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 I'm going in there, I'm going to apply myself because I refuse to starve to death, I'm going to get something and then I'll take that and then I'll work my way up, right, work my way up until I obtain the life and the lifestyle that I want, and this is where the power of the corporation is, now when you look at life today, especially in the western world, you see the power of the corporations, and of course there's some dwindling with that right now, but you see the, this, the case that I'm stating here, right, Power came from that, and then it's like corporation versus families. And it's not always that way. Of course, there are powerful families and wealthy families who initiate corporations, right? Because they get the game, too. They understand, well, they better get on the game of that because that family wealth is going to last how long if they don't keep generating revenue and generating wealth, right? So they get into the Capricorn game as well. You know what I mean? And then certain things are put into place in the Southern Hemisphere, like I explained also in Scorpio videos, how the extraction takes place from the wealthy. So, OK, y'all want to be wealthy individuals passing down legacies to each other and y'all want to run the show. Right. Well, we're going to take your money. We're going to take it in a way that it's about heroism. And if you don't agree with us. We're going to take your money in some other type of way. I explain that. I don't want to get too deep into that. You understand what I'm saying, right? People are going to come take the wealth if you don't break bread. So this is partially why the wealthy families take place inside of corporations, because what are you going to do? Sit on that money the entire time, right? You know what I mean? And of course, you could build great interest with a whole lot of money. But at the same time, how long do you think your power is going to last when you have corporation after corporation popping up all over the place? And these corporations are hiring more people than these families, these powerful, wealthy families are taking care of. You understand what I'm saying? Now, now it has been said that Capricorn rules the earth realm, the earthly realm. And for the most part, it's true. So Capricorn fell down from the graces of heaven or the graces of God, right? In the upper arc, the northern hemisphere of the zodiac wheel, down to the southern hemisphere of the zodiac wheel where it is situated right so when in all actuality if you want to be technical capricorn does rule the earthly plane the southern region of the of the earth that's why hell is associated with either earth right hell on earth or associated with the devil you look at the tarot card the devil right baphomet and things of that nature oh it doesn't say that the devil rules all dimensions though the devil doesn't rule all dimensions the devil rules this dimension the third dimension right or Capricorn, I would I'd rather say, rules this dimension. Different dimensions come into play when you dip into Aquarius. It still goes in the cycle, in the pattern. When you go into Aquarius, you're talking about different dimensions. There's a reason why 11 dimensions have been discovered, right? Aquarius is the 11th house of the Zodiac Wheel. So this is where, through that Aquarius energy, is where you finally reach the Pisces energy is when you finally reach the Pisces energy at the end. And this is where the corporation is observed and recognized as an institution, institution, inward, right? Because you realize that this is the outer realms of the Zodiac will, and you've been lost at sea. You've been betrayed. You've been 
taking your own spiritual journey or growth path or what have you, and you enter into this corporation because of the realization that you came in this place without having. And you will get, and the more that you accumulate, the more powerful you become. So now you are forced to be reckoned with. Now, it's situated there, but when you get to different dimensions and stuff like that, with the ability to dream and actual travel, I, I suggest... And I'm going to make some videos that help people actually project and stuff like that and dream. This is where you get to visit these different dimensions. Um, and there is some type of truth to being able to be in the waking state and visit parallel universes and stuff like that. I can attest to. Um, however, it's just not as often as I would like to state claims on it publicly at this point anyway. But probably soon to come. And then when you get to Pisces energy, it's the institution. That's when things become recognized as institutions, large institutions, because it's accumulation of people who, through a humanitarian effort in the Aquarius energy, solidifies the right to actually practice business building via corporations. And then once you reach that Pisces um, acknowledgement, right, then you are spiritually prepared because you have taken the dark road, right? The bottom rung, the southern hemisphere, the zodiac. You have taken the bottom rung to understand the darkness, the depths of reality in the game of one through eight. And you come to this spiritual understanding of everything's going to be all right type shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's all connected. It's all part of the story. It's all part of the plan. But now you're coming out anew and you're supposed to inspire the next entrepreneur through the Aries energy, which represents entrepreneurship, the individual, and most times the pinnacle of a corporation at the top of the corporation as a CEO.